Hi, everybody. It's Smith and Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Oy. Virgo, we're throwing your cards down for the month of October. I apologize for the delay. By the time I got done throwing cards down yesterday, I was just so fried. It's like, okay, um, I have to get ready for work now. So I apologize. But the universe is ready to give you messages today. And this will be the first thing I'm doing today. A very tight schedule with a very full plate. So, that being said, let's just get her done. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your dream. I'm to just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid, so the messages. They could have already played out. They could be in the process of playing out, or they may play out sometime in the future. I have no control over what the cards decide they want to tell you for when. And all things can and maybe vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Okay. Oh! Reminder. If it doesn't belong to you, leave it on the table. Don't take it with you. If it's not your message, it's not your message. If it's not your story, it's not your story. It's okay. We'll try again next time. <laughs> Your energy, the person you're dealing with this energy. Why are you here, Virgo? King of Pentacles. Oh. Not a lie, that's a fabulous card. You could be dealing with an earth sign. A Capricorn, a Taurus, or another Virgo. That's an... Either there's a huge offer coming your way, or you have a huge offer for someone else. That's how I see that. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Two of Cups. It's new. Ooh, I like new warm fuzzies. It's fun. I like it. What do you think of them? Temperance. Oh my. That is amazing. You get along well. You communicate well. The energy is positive. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. And that's not bad. You could think they're a patient person. Calm. I just, I feel the sense of calm. What do you want from them? Two swords. Hmm. And with the flip of a card, it gets a little sketch. That's the blindfold coming off card. That is, that is a decision needing to be made with wisdom and clarity. So they have a choice, huh? Hmm. Okay. One of those swords is going to have to be used to cut somebody out. Oh, boy. How do they feel about you? That's connection. Very nice. Sweet. 
soulmate connection. Five G stuff. Hmm. Um, I think they feel the connection possibly a little bit more strongly than you do. Good possibility of that. Possibly an extremely... Huh. Okay. What do they think of you? Cherry reversed. Huh. They could see it was a little bit out of control. They could think that you are being pulled in two different directions. Hmm. Speak of closing. We're going to get clarity on that. I'm going to shut up. What do they want from you, Ace of Wands? I'm afraid to see what the obstacle is because it's going too well. They definitely want to get something started. Know what I'm saying? I don't like that Two of Swords. And I don't like that Chariot Reversed. What's the obstacle? I'm almost afraid to flip this card over. Six of Wands. Six of Wands Reversed. Lack of victory after the battle. Possibly somebody it could be a little bit egotistical. What's the resolution? King of Swords making a logical head over heart decision. Okay. Clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get a question out? Five of Pentacles, upright, page of wands reversed came out. We're going to see if they come back out. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity for the cards and the table for Virgo, October 2020? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, October 2020. High Priestess. On top of this King of Pentacles, is there? Oh, somebody in this scenario is a catch, and the other person knows it. They feel it. They feel it in their soul. They feel it in their soul. Virgo, I think it's you. You got something to offer, and I think they want it, but there's a catch. I'm not going to clarify all these cards. I'm only going to clarify the cards that are sticking out like sore thumbs. And I got a couple of sore thumbs. Why is the two of swords here? Lovers. Okay. Hmm. Make it a choice between lovers. Oh, no. It was going so well, too. All right, uh, okay, so it landed like this. Seven of Wands reversed. So you want them to choose between you and somebody else? It was going so well too, Virgo. Seven of Wands, you want them to just get through whatever internal struggle they're trying to go through. Oh, boy. Can I get one more on this Two of Swords, please?
Hanged man. Oh. Could be a Pisces. Somewhere in this scenario. You want them to cut themselves out of the hangman's gallows and accept the situation for what it is. You want them to make a head over heart decision. Okay. Okay. Why is the chariot reversed here? Ace of Cups. A new start in love, new full cup. You have them torn in two different directions. The Hermit card came out, Virgo. It's your card. They're having a hard time figuring out where they're going to steer this chariot. I know they got a little something, something for you, you know what I'm saying? They got a wand and a cup for you. Because they want that pinnacle. Can I get one more on the chair at reverse, please? Eight of Pentacles. They think they want to work on this. They think they want to put their energy into this. Okay, why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Two hit the flow. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This may sound a little bit weird, but a thought just occurred to me. This might be a choice between lovers for some of you. Um, for others of you, this may be a choice between your independence and a relationship. A choice between self-love and loving someone else or trying to love someone else. The Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles both coming out. That says to me, on top of a Six of Wands reversed, they've been through it. They went through some crap. They did not come out of a battle very well at all. I mean, they came out of it, but the change may not have been so positive. So they are an extremely independent person. I'm going to throw one more on that. They want to be the queen to your king. You know, matched pair. But there's an independent streak there. I have nine pentacles of my own and one more would make ten, but... But... 
see how that works. A little bit cocky. A little bit. King of Wands. Wands and wands and wands. Hmm. Well, I don't know, Virgo. Let's throw a couple on this King of Swords. I hate it when the story splits. This could be a choice between a King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles. And a King of Wands. World Reversed comes on top of this King of Swords here. That's unfinished business. Mm, I don't like it. I mean, I love... It is what it is. My Virgo Moon and my Virgo Rising say it is what it is, but... <clears throat> Obviously, a choice has to be made here. There's unfinished business. Hey. No. Three of swords. <sighs> Somebody's got to make a decision, break somebody's heart. And leave business unfinished. Leave something hanging out there. You know how I feel about leaving something hanging out there. Or they need to go back and finish their business. Choice between lovers, huh? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right. Let's look at the outcome. Can I throw one on this Eight of Cups reversed, please? One card on the Eight of Cups reversed. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. A return, someone waiting on a return, someone waiting to hear the truth. Speak truth, hear truth. So if you're in separation, there may be a return in the midst. Someone may have to go back and finish some unfinished business close out a cycle. Somebody's got to make a choice between lovers here. So if they don't choose you, there's a return coming. Tis the season, I guess. They definitely hold a wand and a cup for you. They definitely see you as the catch. And they feel the connection with you.
get some advice. I don't think I'm going to beat this to death. Two of ones are versus seven of ones in the upright. Wow. That's a powerful message. Don't allow someone else's inner demons to impede you on your path. Don't allow someone else's internal stuff to keep you from trucking on, to keep you at a crossroads. Know what I'm saying? Either way, you got to walk your path and live your life. Know what you're supposed to hold on to and move toward and know what you're supposed to let go of. And don't let it become an internal struggle. The strength reversed and the princess of cups. It can be extremely draining waiting for that call or waiting for that text message or waiting for an apology. Don't let someone else's stuff impede you from your progress. Two of Wands in the upright and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, wow. The cards just keep screaming it and I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> let go of what you need to let go of. Move toward what needs you to move toward. And know what's going to fruit and what's not. Okay. I don't know who that was for. I don't even think that had anything to do with the reading. That was just definitely a message someone needed to hear. But I'm not going to beat it to death anymore. Virgo. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys have been so supportive over the last year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. Be blessed. The sun is shining. I have a ton of stuff I have to go out and do today um, when I get home this evening. I'm hoping to be able to throw down cards for the weekend top and bottom to be able to get that, you know, taken care of. So you guys might get that message a little bit earlier than you normally do. And tomorrow, I might take a tarot break. I don't know. I'm really excited for the series that Neon and I are going to be doing in honor of Halloween and Mercury Retrograde, so I might kick that off tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how froggy I'm feeling. I keep losing my voice, so I have to be gentle with the throat shocker right now. Okay. Anyway, love you guys. Catch you next time.